In this video, we're gonna go through some tips and tricks on how to set up and use a bandsaw. First up, we're gonna show you how, what all these little red knobs all do. This red knob on the top is for tensioning the blade. The one on the front here is to open this side cover. This one here is to lock off the blade adjustment guide, and this one's to adjust it. This one here changes the angle or the pitch of the drive wheel in there. When setting up your bandsaw, you want to have easy access to the blade inside here. About there, then you can open it. This door here actually has a sensor, so you will not be able to turn this on while the door is open, so you'll make sure it's securely shut when you shut it. So the blade tension knob on the top we talked about earlier will adjust how much tension is in this blade, so how much wobble you've got from side to side. You want to have no more than 8 mil, but as least amount of wobble as you can get is better. To do this, you move up to this tension knob and you can adjust it clockwise or anti-clockwise and each time you make that movement, it'll adjust the tension on the blade. This knob on the back has a locking nut just here. Undo that a bit. And now we're going to adjust it. And when we move over to this side, we can spin this quite easily with our finger. And we can see that the blade is tracking along the back of the wheel. We want that to be pre-center. So what we can do is adjust the knob on the back and spin at the same time. And it's moving towards the back. Adjust it the other way, it's moving towards the front now. And it's a bit off center, so I keep playing with it backwards and forwards, clockwise and anti-clockwise, until I get it centered. Now it looks pretty centered to me, and I'm happy with that. Then I'll move to the back side here, and adjust this lock-off knob. To help you with some of that sideways movement, you can adjust these little side pins. So you can see it moves in and out as I move the blade a bit. We want to have the blade sitting where it's going to be. Push the pin in and just bring it out a little bit so it's not going to touch the blade. And once we know it's not going to touch the blade but it's going to be close, we lock it off nice and tight. And that's to help stop that wobble in there so it's actually going to run up against those pins to help keep some of that movement out. In the back of this head here we have a roller just inside here. Now that roller can be adjusted backwards and forwards by undoing this nut here. When you undo the screw, you can see that the roller can move backwards and forwards. And I can move it backwards and forwards just like that. Now I want that roller to be just touching the back of the blade in there, so I'll push it forward so that when I'm spinning the blade, that roller will just touch it and move. Once I'm happy, I just lock it off. It's exactly the same principle for these guides here underneath. Adjust these little pins in and out till they just touch the blade or just away from the blade. And in here you've got a roller which you can release on the side here and adjust till it touches the back of the blade. Now let's go through how to change a blade. Your first step will be to take this tabletop off. So there's two hex keys nuts here. Undo the knobs on the other side. Everything's all nice and loose. Carefully lift the tabletop off. Now we're getting more access to the blade. We really need to take some tension off. Before we do that, we'll pull this cover out so we can see the blade. Our mission here is to expose as much of the blade as we can so that we can pull it apart. Okay, I can see pretty much as much of the blade as I can now. I just need to change the tension and really back that right the way off. So I'm taking all the tension out of the blade. The blade's becoming quite loose now. Slowly move that until the blade comes off. Carefully pull it out. Totally disconnected. Get my new blade and we're gonna reverse those steps now. Now the little tip is here, you can put a bandsaw blade on backwards. You wanna make sure the teeth are all pointing down as they're going to be cutting through the tabletop. So in order to do that, you probably just need to go, okay, I'll put it up here and I'll find out down here which way the teeth are pointing. They're all pointing down, which is good because we're cutting on the downward stroke. So as we took it off, we will just line it up at the bottom, make sure it gets into all the little 
tracks here, like so. Now we've got the blade going through all the right places it needs to go. All you now need to do is go back through aligning the blade as you would normally. And you know what, it'd be really cool if you left us some comments about all those cool projects that you do, or maybe there's something you want to know how to do. Put in the comments below and stay on top of our YouTube channel for more cool videos.